Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Inside Air Gamer, welcome to X-Plane 11, welcome to another beautiful Beluga flight from uh, Shannon Airport today, E-I-N-N, -N, and we're heading over uh, to Glasgow, we're going to go see Andy, uh, we are dropping off an Airbus uh, fuselage, that is the plan from uh, Lufthansa, we're going to take it over to uh, Glasgow, it's a very kind of short flight, but there's a lot of, there's a long setup on this loading and unloading, so bear in mind we've got plenty of time for that as well. Uh, but hello to everyone that is here in the chat. Hello, Jordan Crawford on Facebook. Arjun, hello. You made it just in time for milk. Uh, nice, perfect. Uh, B.G, hello. Uh, you still good for the Friday in the uh, office, mate? Uh, Will James, hello. Glenn Bixley, hello. Richard, greetings. Greetings, Richard. Uh, Jonathan Holmes, hello. Nut, nut, hello. How are you? I see that you're flying. How's the Microsoft Flight Simulator since the update? I, I must admit, I've not, uh, I've not actually uh, looked at it myself. Um, Hopefully, uh, we'll do a flight of Microsoft Flight Simulator. I've got quite a busy couple of weeks ahead of me now, so I'll try and squeeze it in somewhere. I can't promise you when. Um, I'll explain a little bit more later on as well. Uh, but hello, Will James as well. Hello, hello, hello. Hello to everyone. Okay, so here we go. We're in the uh, Bluger, the A300 uh, from i i Builds. Beautiful aircraft, beautiful machine. I love delivery. Join us at simplyclaimva.com if you haven't done so already. You should come fly with us. Uh, you're all more than welcome. Um, there was a sale on for this recently. I'm not sure if it's still on sale or not. Uh, yet yeah, I actually love the Beluga. I think it looks, I think it looks great, especially like this. I, and here we are. We are in uh, I and I Builds uh, Shannon Airport. We flew from this the other week. Uh, we flew from the passenger terminal over here. Um, so I thought I'd come back here because the Beluga's actually been flying in and out of Shannon recently. There are training flights uh, because of the wind here on the west. It's quite hard to land here, uh, especially on the stormy or windy days. It's a great place to actually be training pilots. Uh, and that's what they were doing. They were doing some training flights in the Beluga. Uh, Javier, hello from Spain. I was about to say buongiorno, but that's bloody Italian. Ah, uh, God. My mate's Spanish and I can't even think what bloody hello is now. Um, first flight since the update, crossing fingers for the CDT. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me know how the update goes. I haven't looked at Microsoft because... Uh, you know, it's just caused me so many problems in recent streams that I wasted, so I've just kind of walked away from it. The last update really broke it for me. That was the first time since I've had it um, that I couldn't actually physically stream with it. But anyways, okay, so here in the Beluga, we've got quite things to do. So look, let's just kind of get on with a few bits. Uh, Steve Mansell's light stream. Thank you, mate. Much appreciated. Allah. Yeah, I don't know why Allah didn't come to my head. I was thinking about gambas, but that's bloody fish or prawns or whatever. Okay, so battery one, two, and three will go on here. We will turn over to external powers as we do have an external power outside. Uh, I'm just going to turn this over to the external power, as you can see there. Uh, battery is not, not a big deal. Uh, just up the top here, we need to make sure we flick one, two, and three. That's for the uh, ideas that's going to line up. We're just going to do a bit of a flow here quickly. Uh, there's nothing I need to turn on here at the moment. I'm not going to touch too much of this stuff at the minute either. Generators are off, etc. Uh, we can turn the galley on. Uh, is it your damage going now? Yep. Uh, we can throw on our ATIS. That will stay on here. Uh, we will throw on our beacon as we're going to be doing some work on the outside now. Uh, if we go back up to the top here. Now I'm a bit rusty with the old beluga, so do, I do apologize. I'm not going to touch fuel pumps. I'm not going to touch... Uh, we can actually flick on the APU, uh, but it's not actually going to turn on until we click start. Um, and again, probe heats can all go on. Uh, and again, that, that is all good for here for now. Uh, oxygen supply, not not a big deal. Okay, so what we need to do is um, actually load our cargo. That's what we're going to do first. And I'm going to try and remember what my keys are to look outside. There we go. Did anyone remember what that key was? Because I've already forgotten. Drag the screen. Come on. This should load in now. Uh, we'll watch it load before we do anything else. Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the blue girl looks like a woman I bring home. Oh, so <laughs> beautiful <laughs> okay so we are using pipe to atc today as usual um we are using uh orbix for the uk in the north so it should look pretty nice flying over it's been a beautiful day here as you can see there's no clouds there's been no clouds really today it's been very windy though but it's actually been a nice day here for a change so okay we're going to load in the fuselage not the heaviest bit of kit that we could have moved um but it is what we had, and that's what we're going to do. So how is everyone this evening? How is everyone? Haven't seen anyone in a little while. How are you all? Did you all have a good weekend? The 
big and beautiful. <laughs> now I'm a bit rusty with the blue gut. I haven't flown in a little while. The last time I did try and fly I said the same thing and we had to quit the stream and things went wrong and then there was a terrible the ILS didn't work and oh my god. Um so hopefully we're not going to have done issues today. Okay, so that is now loaded in. Uh, what we can now do is remove the loader, uh, which is all good. We're going to return here. I don't need any of that stuff as it is. We won't need the pushback trolley for today. Um, so what we're going to go to here now is the load sheet. So you can see that we have the fuselage that's going to load us in here. Uh, fuel on board for today's flight, according to Simbrief, with half an hour extra fuel. Uh, one, two, two, four, four. It takes a lot of fuel, this. A lot, a lot of fuel. Uh, we're gonna press enter fuel range oh yeah what am i doing it's abbreviated 12.2 uh 12.24 uh, i mean we should probably round it to 12.3 why are you not doing the point my my my, my dot is not working what's going on how about we just put 13 in there how about that uh, yeah Okay, we can load the fuel uh, Center of gravity is 30.6 your fuel weight is 99.1 Corn Simbrief that is uh, a little like to what Simbrief liked, but anyways, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna send that to performance Okay, so we'll get all our ATIS and wind directions in a second Like I said, there's a lot we need to do with this aircraft. So what I'm gonna do down here uh, KC, nice blue guy. I love the blue guy. Sounds like the beer goggles. <laughs> okay, look, let's get our flight clearances and stuff. Um, Pipe 20 c wasn't working the other day. It was having a meltdown. I'm not sure if we're going to have a better meltdown today or not. Um, I just need to change over my frequency. What is Shannon on the ground control? 131.15. Uh, That's what we want. Possibly. Simply 3035 ready to copy IFR clearance. No, it's doing the same thing as last time. Byte to ATC has no voice. Okay, just have a look at the config here quickly. It's default with my sounds. There was a driver update. Oh, quickly, where is my... Apparently it's going... It's directing it to the microphone. That is bloody interesting, isn't it? Simply 3035 ready to copy IFR Aha, there we go, we got it. Simply 3035 is clear to Echo Golf Harper Hotel. Fly the Diga 3 a departure with the Digan transition, then as filed. Expect departure runway 06. Climb to 4,000 feet via the departure. Expect higher clearances two minutes after departure. Squawk 4361. Simply 3035 is clear to Echo Golf Papa Hotel. Fly the Diga 3A departure, with the Diga transition, then as filed. Climb to 4000 feet via the departure. Expect higher clearances 2 minutes after departure. Squawk 4361. Okay, squawk in 4361. Simply 3035, rear back correct. 3018, let us know when you're ready for pushback. Altimeter 3018, simply 3035. Okay, so the wind data has been inserted into the main pad now. Uh, a simple fuse name, so the company route, it should bring up our last available route, hopefully. Uh, did that send? It looks like it did send. Nice. Okay, so we're just going to align the IRS. Uh, so that's now going to put all this stuff into where it needs to go. Uh, why did my wind data not show? Okay, I'm not sure what my wind is. Okay, hang on. I need to get... Uh... Okay, wind, wind, wind. 360 out of 11. 360 at 11 knots. Bit windy. Told you it was a little bit windy. 
Q&A, Q&A is... 10.22. Putting it in the wrong slot. Uh, outside ground temperature today is a lovely... 16 degrees today, wow. We uh, were warm in Ireland for a change. Okay, we're going to be runway, yep. Configuration. Uh, standard, standard, flex, flex, flex. Uh, we are in E I N N, and we should be taking off runway six. She said, "Okay, we can compute all this." She is computing. Don't worry about this uh, brake rubbish. We're going to be flexing to sixty degrees. Here we go. Here's our vertical speeds. Um, nice. Uh, send our data to the FMS. Uh, send data to the card as well. You have to do both. Don't forget you need to do both and that's because this card is what's important with the beluga. Okay, we're going back to who's saying what. Uh, last time I saw the picture I thought it was a woman and child said that's me. Oh, <laughs> that's your mum for God's sake. The PMG DC6 looks amazing on MSS. Yeah, it looks alright. It's a nice complicated beast. I have enough uh, complicated stuff to learn in my life. Okay, so fuel on board has gone between all the engines. That's all sorted and done. Uh, we can pretty much turn on the APU in a second. I just need to make sure that the flight plan itself is okay. Does it does it pop out? Oh, it does pop out. That's handy. Okay, receive company takeoff data. Blah blah blah. Okay, cost index of thirty two. Flight level of three seven. That's not right. Uh, we should be flying at two one zero today. Two one zero. Okay, go. clear all this stuff. Uh, Chihuahua Brian is on the stream. Nice. Thanks, mate. Okay, 210 is what we will be flying up to. Does an ATIS request work? Um, for some reason, it didn't send across. I did ask it to send across. It normally works. Um, so I'm not sure why it didn't work. So I just filled it in myself. It's no big deal. Uh, no, 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 no biggie on our, ourselves. Okay, so. I, oh, no, it doesn't fill any of this stuff in for us, does it? Okay, fuel on board is 13. So look, it already has our block fuel. Uh, zero fuel weight. It was 99 something, wasn't it? Uh, tow weight 117. 99.1. Okay, 99.1. That's our zero fuel weight. Done, done, done. It's filled in all the rest of it. If we go to our flight plan here, uh, we're going direct to Paylig, uh, which is great. That's exactly what we want to do. Uh, nothing unusual there just got to put in us there there's no stars or sids uh, we're just leaving from runway six insert that uh, no discons so we're flying the pay league even though it said to do the denta oh, hang on that doesn't that does, that's not right is it it gave me two different ones than i should have done the diga 3a okay we'll take the diga 3a we'll insert that one Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we'll check all that stuff in a second. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to throw on our APU. Uh, so APU master's on. We can start the APU. Pitch trims can go on. Just go back through our flow. Uh, all our fuel pumps can now go on. APU generator. Okay, APU is on. There you go, APU is available. We're going to put the bleeds on. Uh, so we're now running on APU power. We can come off the ground power. Ready's generator is on. That's all fine. We're now going on to APU generator. Uh, all that stuff is well and good. And I need to see my flight plan here. Okay, just. Uh... Okay, we're all good. Flight plan is all good. We're taking off from runway uh, 06. Nice, nice, nice. Last little things that we need to do. Uh, our toga should be... Uh, 
that we're flexing to what was it what are we flexing flexing to 60 degrees we're going for our flex temp up to uh, 60 I think we're pretty much good to uh, just start moving just go over everything one more time make sure everything looks okay done all the bits down here done 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 ILS we can look at uh, we're rotating at 164 today 164 is our rotational speed uh, the back of fly hello hello it is a nice ride I love this ride this is one of the best rides there is okay so we don't need pushback we're only looking for engine starts here simply 3035 ready for engine start simply 3035 ready for engine okay. start you can just say it as well why not simply 3035 engine start approved engine start approved simply 3035 okay we only cleared up to uh, the 3000 uh, max speed uh, what was our takeoff speed today is rotating at 164 so our V2 is 1 Six six, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw this straight up to the 230. That's what we're going to climb with today. The vertical speed is fine. Dun dun dun. We'll throw on the autopilots later. Okay, all is good. We're good for engine start. We've been given clearance, um, so we should probably fire up some engines. The loader's gone. I just need to do one last little thing. We've got to go back to the uh, EFB here. Ground ops. Uh, chocks can now come off external power can now go there we go nice uh, yeah everything else is actually looking good I'm quite happy with what we got I think we're good for engine start okay so to start engines on this bird if I remember rightly we're going to go over to crank 8 uh, we're going to start engine 2 first Once you see the nods go up to uh, the N2 go up to about 20 degrees, we will throw in the fuel. There we go, we'll throw in the fuel here now. We'll have a little nose on the outside. Engine 2 is kicking in. Uh, tomorrow I can do the West Highland Line from William to Malig. Uh, I will do that this week for you, Jordan, uh, but I won't be doing it tomorrow. Okay, that's engine two pretty much uh, started up here. Okay, we're still on the crank. We're waiting for it to flick over. Perfect, uh, we're gonna start engine number one now. You can see it all balancing itself out, sorting itself out. Let's throw in the fuel. I can't remember, does this thing have Avitab? Okay, I'm just bringing up my charts for today. Apparently Navigraphs now needs an update. Great. Uh, everyone's very quiet. What's going on, guys? Okay, we're going to runway six. Wow, we have to taxi all the way bloody down. Okay. I thought as much. I thought as much. Okay, the two engines have now started. Uh, we'll go up and have a look up there in a minute. Uh, okay, so we will now put ignition to off. All is good. Just making sure one final time. Uh, we can now take off the APU bleed. Uh, we can turn off the APU. 
Uh, we do need to now go over to our generators, which you can see, lovely, you can see our batteries all in power, all is in green, everything is looking good to go. Uh, we will now throw on our taxi lights, and just that's the only light for us for taxi, yep. God, it's been a long time since I've flown this girl, hopefully she's going to fly. Okay, speed set. Flex temperature set, parking brake is still on, not worried about that. We're going to be uh, flaps 5 for takeoff, I think it is. Yeah, 15 and 0, that'd be fine. Just clearing that. Nice, nice, nice. I suppose the Blue is basically the A300. It is very similar, okay, Casey, but there's a few things that are different. So it actually thinks it's an A300 even though it carries more weight. So you actually use this for your performance. The FMC and the computers will give you the wrong V speeds. Everything has to be done by this. You do everything by this chart here, okay? That's basically the, the, the big difference. Um, and obviously when you're coming in for descent, if you follow your top of descent here, you're going to be down really early because of the weight it just drops from the sky so there are differences they've made it realistic because that's exactly how the beluga flies um hopefully i'm going to give you a decent example of this i, I won't make any promises okay uh just going to move this over to navigation pull up parking brakes i've forgotten what button it is hang on we need to get taxi clearance f1 racer dan hello hey beluga time missed the start again oh sorry mate well look we're here now you're here now and that's all that matters Okay, let's get our taxi. Simply 3035 request taxi to runway 06. Simply 3035 taxi to runway 06 via taxiways Delta 2. Hold short runway 24. Taxi to runway 06 via taxiways Delta 2. Hold short runway 24 simply 3035. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to bring up my chat so I can see everybody again. Demon Wolf, hello, hello. Okay, look, guys, let's go make our taxi. Let's get a little bit of speed going in here. Let's raise these throttles a little bit. Now, she does taxi quite fast. Don't forget. I just realized I didn't set my Q and H. It's on 2909 or 2. <laughs> Following the wrong line. Okay, my Q and H was ten twenty two. We've got a taxi all the way down here now.
Oh, you got a visit from the game developer. Oh, nice. Yeah, he seems to be a nice guy. He's uh, commented on a few of my videos. Yeah, I, I wasn't really around yesterday at all. I've been... I had lots to do. Lots to do. Flight director's on. I do love this aircraft. Maybe I make a pig of the landing like I did the last time I flew this thing though. Love it when Dev dropping. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, he's uh, he seems like a nice guy. It, the game's had a lot of updates since I last played it, I believe. I think that's what he was trying to tell me. Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to rage at that game. But did you get the grasp of it? Did you? Did you do? Were you doing well? Did you move out to, to the first office yet? Okay, we're going to make our turn down here now, guys. Hopefully. Runner eight six six four, can the grade one two eight one five five. One two eight one five five, runner eight six six four. Okay, runway 06 here at Shannon Airport. Okay, so a few things that we just want to check here. So the Q&H uh, 1022, we have now inputted memo, fuel's good. Uh, yeah, ground temperature is good. We can now change a few lights here now. We're going to throw on these lights. Strobe lines are going to go on to automatic. Uh, nose will now go to takeoff. I'm just going to put the handbrake on the Airbus here. Ugh, it doesn't like that. Okay, uh, navigation lights will go on. Wing lights can go on. They don't need to go on, but they can go on. Uh, everything else is all set good all up here last just checks uh, we can put the uh, oxygen supply on no no big drum we don't have any any people on board with us today uh, good okay just remember guys we're rotating at 164 okay speed brake set where's my auto brakes auto brake set to max Okay, I think we're good to go, guys. Believe it or not. Tower simply three zero three five ready for departure of runway zero six. Simply three zero three five. This is Shannon oh, Tower crap. on one two one point eight. Please repeat your request. Tower simply 3035 ready for departure runway 06. Simply 3035 winds are 354 at 10 knots cleared for takeoff runway 06. Cleared for takeoff runway Good. 06 well, take simply 305. I won't change the other camera today because uh, the takeoff is using just I'm just using the thrust master because this doesn't have indents and stuff like that. Just using the joystick, so we won't change that today. All lights are set, temperature set, things are good. Let's start increasing our throttle in. Oh, 
<laughs> Too busy looking down. Okay, V1. And rotate. Okay, positive rate. Gear up. Okay, already we are picking up our speed. Slats are in. Simply 3035 climb and maintain flight level 110. Climb and maintain flight level 110. Simply 3035. For some reason I can't turn. 3035 contact Shannon Center on 131.15. Enjoy your afternoon. Center on 131.15. Simply 3035. Center simply 3035 climbing to flight level 110. Simply 3035, good afternoon. Radar contact. Oh, let's hope this isn't Air Canada. <laughs> no, it's even worse, it's simply connect. Yeah, I messed up something there again. I can't remember what I did, but I've done something. Anyways. Uh, we've got a climb set. We are climbing now. Who's gaming? Hello. Every question push from to send. Yeah, I, I don't know why it does that. I don't know. All is good. All is good. Let's not panic. Let's not panic, guys. Okay, we're now 4,000 feet. Climbing at a nice steady rate. But that's all that matters, you know, we've left Shannon and we're in the air. What more could we ask for from one of my streams? Like I said, I don't fly these planes regularly enough. Uh, this is half my issues. Um, but anyways, all is good, all is good. Okay, everything is working nicely, lights are on, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Give it a bit more speed. Okay, see the profile. Uh, it doesn't work. It's all manual with the Beluga. It doesn't work like the A300. So even though it has a profile, it won't follow the profile. You have to manually do this aircraft up and down. It's all manual. So that's the differences. It's like real life. They. Um, they do the same thing in real life, so yeah. It's just how they are, it's just how they are. So basically, this thinks it's an A300 with a huge tank on the top. Uh, so in real life, there is a third pilot in here, who is the engineer, which is what this bit's doing. Um, and basically, yeah, they have to manually bring all their stuff up and down. Good to see nothing has changed. Oh yeah, nothing will ever change with me. <laughs> I just realised I'm not squawking either. There we go. Anyways, we're climbing nicely. We're climbing nicely. Evening ugly fish time. <laughs> it's a beautiful fish. Look at the monster it is. <laughs> We're not going far today. We're not going too far. So yeah, so uh, Casey, that's the difference. You have to manually do the inputs and stuff. Even this will give you like a top of descent. Don't follow it. 
Uh, yeah, the fish are cool, mate. Three zero three five contact Shannon Center on one three two point one five. Have a good afternoon. Center on one three two point one five. Simply three zero three five. Center simply 3035 climbing to flight level 110. Simply 3035 good afternoon. Radar contact. Simply 3035 climb and maintain flight level 170. Climb and maintain flight level 170 simply 3035. Okay, we're over 10,000 feet now, guys. Uh, we can now turn off our landing lights. If I can get them to retract, there we go. Here we go. All lights are good. Uh, Q and H should be set to standard pressures. There we go, standard pressures are in. Um, still climbing. Uh, but we can now bring up the speed. Climb at about 270. They originally called a Guppy was an ugly fish as well. <laughs> Seems like a lot of work to fly that sexy beluga. No, it's more manual. Look, it's a, it's more of a manual process. But I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know, we, we you know, you go up in an Airbus and we press autopilot and we let it do its thing. You know, this you have to do a little bit of bit of stuff. I think that's good. I like that. Might not be everybody's cup of tea. And we got the new lighting effects on uh, X plane, I believe. I mean, that is just a tank. It's a beautiful aircraft. Beautiful. Okay, so we're climbing out 270 knots. We've got a vaccine Saturday. Yes, they feel really ill. Uh, well, at least you're vaccinated now. That's the main thing, isn't it? You know, you're vaccinated. It's, it's good. I have no idea when mine might come. Sometime soon, maybe. I don't know. Not that I've got loads going on. Okay, so landing. So landing today, they expect us to be at full flaps, 30, 40 slats. Um, approach speed at 131. They want us to uh, land at 126. So this does land very, very slow. Um, and I'm probably going to mess up my landing rate. I'm actually near the top of the leaderboard because I've not done many flights this month. But that's probably not going to stay much longer, is it? Let's be honest. Can we do an ATS event this week? Uh, well, have a look. I've got a few things already planned. Um, we'll have a look for the weekend, okay? There we go. If we need the, uh, we need the crapper. Simply 3035 climb and maintain flight level 210. Climb and maintain flight level 210 simply 3035. Okay, climbing at 210. Did you get the Sputnik? <laughs> Is that what they're giving you guys? Feel the new lighting effects. Okay, let's not mess around too much while we're still climbing.
So there you go, there's our approach stuff. So yeah, they're taking some of the buttons out, Casey, as you can see. Okay, so I do need to throw my ILS. Does anyone know what the ILS is? Hang on, I need to get my charts up again. Navigraph. Okay, ILS would be 108.9. We're going to throw that into our ILS here. Uh, the course for that then would be 061, so just 61 degrees. Okay, make sure we uh, reset our heading while we're going in a straight line. We're now up at uh, nearly at our 2100 feet. 2100, 21,000. Yeah, I'm double Pfizer now. <laughs> the one to give me the AstraZeneca, I said no. Yeah, fair enough. Look, everybody's going to have their own their own thing with it all okay we're actually in icing range okay so probably be good that uh, I throw on some anti-ice just in case you never know last thing we want to do is fall out of the sky anti-ice is on Dave just described. Thank you, mate. Much appreciated. Uh, didn't didn't this plane get an update to it? Yep, yeah, uh, we are flying with the update. I made sure it was all updated before. Okay, we're going to cruise at a. Uh, Let's, let's put ourselves up to about 280. It's pretty much going to be our maximum. This aircraft is literally Thunderbird 2. It amazes me how things can fly in physics. Is that if you want to get your shot, come to the US for a couple of hours. <laughs> uh, look, I'm not worried, I'm not worried, I, I'm not working at the moment, so it's not exactly that important to me, is it? So, I'm, I'm not that bothered, bothered. It'll come when it comes. I'm not going abroad this year, I'm not doing anything special, so I'm not, not particularly worried. Anyone who got fired in the vaccine, did you all have to wait 15 minutes before you could leave? Uh, all vaccines here, people have to wait 15 minutes in case people pass out and stuff. That's, that's the rule here for all vaccines, doesn't matter which one you get. Yeah, it's just to make sure if like, you're going to have any side effects. <laughs> it's going to happen very quickly, isn't it? Uh, the flight lessons are going good. Um, I, <laughs> I recorded the last one, um, but I messed up the camera angles as a learning process. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm back flying po probably Wednesday. Um, and I kind of know what I want to do now with the uh, recording of all the, the headsets and stuff as well. And um, I mean, the first, there's not much going on in terms to show you yet anyways. You know, it's more about getting used to the aircraft, comfortable the aircraft, you know, flying waypoints, making turns. And, you know, I did a couple of approaches. Um, so, you know, we'll probably get into more of the interesting stuff now. So look, uh, as soon as... As soon as I make some decent footage, I, I will put it up, but I do plan to record it weekly. It'll be a weekly episode, probably be like every... It'll probably go live. i probably fly during like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It all depends on weather, um, whatever day is best. So I'll always try and make it like a Monday or something. 
so you guys can um, you can see what I'm getting up to I'm a second jab then flew down a candy half hour later <laughs> yeah not so bad <laughs> well here actually the bus drivers Believe it or not, if they want, they can take three days off afterwards. All they have to do is say they don't feel very well, and uh, bus errand are allowing all drivers to take three days off for having the vaccine. So no wonder why there's uh, no bus drivers around. Of course, if you give anyone the opportunity just to take the time off, they're going to take the time off. Like, <laughs> of course. Okay, so many of you are wondering where we are. We're near Kinigad. Uh, this is kind of like the main M4 between Dublin and Galway. Uh, as we head up towards Drogheda, we'll go up to Northern Ireland, pretty much over Belfast, across the water, top of the descent just as we reach uh, uh, Stramra, uh, down into hopefully a quick finish into Edinburgh. I don't know, we might get vectors. Turbans all the way didn't help either. Oof. What do you do with your sheep is your business. Who's sheep? <laughs> Who's got sheep? Have I missed something? Yeah, my, my, it was kind of weird. My mum was sick on both. My dad was only sick on the second. Other people I know, it's either the first or the second, but not both. Oh, no, I don't have sheep. <laughs> sheep are way too much hard work. Not in a million years will I have sheep. I've got donkeys and horse and ducks and turkeys and chickens. You see, it's all that radioactivity that it's just, you know, it's just getting used to your body. You'll be alright. <clears throat> you will be fine, just. I think most people are feeling it uh, quite, quite poorly, normally like the next day and stuff, it just depends. <clears throat> Everybody's taking it differently. Just go to the flight deck quickly, make sure that nothing is gone out of control. <clears throat> Everything seems okay, doesn't it? Okay, we've already input our ILS for landing. We've got our landing performances already. It's already done it by the weights. Uh, the only thing is, is we don't have where we're going, basically, which is fine, which is fine. I love this. I love this aircraft. I don't know why more of you don't love this aircraft. It's a beautiful aircraft. How are your donkeys doing? Yeah, they're doing alright, mate. You know, they, they don't do much. They just eat all the scrub. They're good because they eat all the brambles, the stinging nettles. They're not picky, you see. A lot of horses and other animals, they're very picky. They'll just eat around all the bad stuff. The donkeys eat everything. <coughs> they're good scrubbers.
It's ugly. Oh, come on, it's not that ugly. It's about media. Hello, welcome, welcome. You guys, I think you're too tough on the beluga. It's interesting. That's how we should be looking at it. Like, it de defies physics in my eyes. Where's the wind coming from? Do we have a tailwind? Nope. Okay, we've got a big kind of crosswind. <coughs> Do I live in Afghanistan? <laughs> there's loads of donkeys in Ireland. You gotta remember there's a lot of fields. I have land all the way around my house. I don't have I don't have neighbours, I have land. So the donkeys are good for keeping uh, the, the the scrub down basically. My wife could fly, she would be a beluga. <laughs> uh, I, I love the beluga. I, I think it's interesting. I think it's nice. I don't think many, you know, since it came out, it had that big thing for like three or four days, but nobody really flies it like often. Not that I've seen anyways. It deserves a little bit more credit. Enjoy your afternoon. Center on 119.87, simply 3035. So yeah, so the, the PPL is going quite well. Um, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with the plane. It's quite windy here, uh, where where Center the airfield is. Center 3035 at flight level 210. Center 3035, good afternoon. Radar contact. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't want to fly that thing. Ah, oh, I think it'd be beautiful. Beautiful. So yeah, it's quite windy here because where the airfield is, we've got some big hills and the wind just comes off them hills. It's pretty nuts here. Uh, the quadrant add-ons, yeah, look, they are on my list to do. Um, but they probably won't come available to Ireland for a while. Ireland doesn't really get very much. Yeah, there shouldn't be so much hate towards this beluga. The beluga, I think, is, is beautiful in its own right way. Strange. I might explain updated earlier and I read something on it. Maybe I was wrong. Okay. Where are we in the world? Uh, we are now just going over Drogheda, kind of in between there and Dundalk as we head now to uh, Kilkeel, up towards Belfast and across. Nice. Everything is looking well. I forgot to change that from climb to auto. Why are my buttons not working? There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Man, your PPL days are the best. I enjoyed learning so much when I was younger. Um, yeah, look, it's, 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 it's just... It, it's, it's a funny feeling when you're getting blown around like I was the other day, like it was pretty, pretty intense, pretty intense. Yeah, I like the Bluger too. Was it windy in Scotland today? Does anyone know? <clears throat> uh, gust 03 at 5. Okay, not too bad. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, it's not so bad.
Whoa. Have I done any stalls yet? <clears throat> no, I've been already been told that's my next lesson. Oh, yeah, the next lesson I should be doing stalls, uh, then I'll be looking at uh, slip and slide techniques the week after, is kind of how he's organised it. So yeah, uh, stalls, stalls scare me a little bit, <laughs> you know, but we'll see, we'll see. It might be a bit of a rush, it'll be like a roller coaster. But we all have to do it, you're not going to get your PPL unless you, you do your stalls, so... Yep. To be fair, the aircraft wants to fix itself, once it stalls, it knows it dies, but it does try to level itself off anyways, it's not that bad, but... It's the steep turns I don't like, like... I can turn the aircraft fine, but when I have to turn, if I look out the window, it all goes wrong. I don't know why. I kind of start going too far. Okay, uh, fuel on board, 8.6. Whoa, we did drink quite a lot of fuel just to get up in the air. I'm quite surprised. Now heading up to Northern Ireland. Just don't crash. Well, that's the kind of idea. <laughs> now, look, the aircraft, it's, it's weird. They do fix themselves in the stall. It, it, it kind of levels itself back out a little bit. I think my biggest problem, Dan, um, is I'm still not... 100% trusting the plane, so I'm overcorrecting everything all the time. Yeah, no, thank you. But yeah, so like, you know, when the wind blows, the aircraft will stabilize itself, but you kind of, it feels a bit juttery, so you, you start moving the controls and then you start over controlling. That's the, that's the main thing at the moment that, that that's getting me the most over, over controlling. I need to trust the plane more, but, but you know, it's when you're in a tiny little plane and you're up there with a, you know, a lawnmower engine kind of thing, <laughs> it, it doesn't always feel so safe. That will come with time. Yeah, he says the same thing. <clears throat> and that's it, though. I, I'm, I've got no problem doing everything he's asking me to do. But I am over-controlling the aircraft. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm still not trusting it, you know. Yeah, that, that's it. It's trusting the aeroplane. Look, it's pitched fine. You know, you don't even need to hold the stick. It, it'll fly itself. Like, it'll stay pretty level. Even with a bit of wind, you know, it might wobble a bit. But it'll, it'll stabilize. But it's getting used to that feeling. Tons 1 Echo Arrival with the UW transition at Edinburgh. After Blake had cleared direct Tunso. Expect the Tons 1 Echo arrival with the Tunso transition for the ILS approach to runway 06 with the UW transition after Blake had cleared direct Tunso simply 3035. Okay, that should bring us. He wants us to do the UW transition. No idea what that's looking like right now. Uh, should I be descending? No. What are you doing to me here? Yeah? 
Air boss. <laughs> Don't tense up. Yeah, that's it. It's the tensing. Like I said, I'm overcorrecting. If the wind blows, even though the aircraft will fix itself, I'm trying to correct the, the wind. So I'm over-controlling. I'm way over-controlling it. But I'm just... Uh, I'm just not... You know, I'm, I'm not feeling 100%. I mean, it's gusty here in Ireland. It's very gusty. It's very windy. Um, even... To be fair, he even said, look, it is a fairly windy day. Um... Yeah, it's a weird feeling. It's 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 when you when you're over controlling it, when you're controlling it, you actually feel like you're safer. If you know what I mean, it sounds a bit. I don't know if it makes sense. It's hard to make sense of it, but yeah, definitely you need to stop over controlling. Yeah, it, look, it, it can glide and it can land without the engine running. It's not that, it's the wind. Like, when the wind blows you, like, the aircraft can, like, jump up and down. You know when you go over, like, a speed bump in a car, and, you know, you get a kind of sinking feeling? Like, that can happen a lot. <laughs> it's always gusty in Ireland, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, look, stall training is all a part of it, and, you know, you, you, everyone needs to do it, so. Okay, top of the scent is uh, here. Is it Rumpso? Could be Rumpso. We're heading over the Irish Sea. There's Belfast City. There's an airport down there somewhere. There it is. Belfast Airport. And the Blue is heading to Scotland. And if I could get the right wing. There we go. Yeah, over controlling can be extremely dangerous. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> over control is more dangerous yeah yeah look there's, there's no doubt about it I'm not like over controlling ridiculously it, it but like when you get that kind of gust instead of me just letting the plane do its thing I'm tending to control if the landing is bumpy it's not your fault it's the asphalt <laughs> yeah look look it, you know, he sits there and he's 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 on his mobile, he's he's taking phone calls, he's happy out, he's like, not panicking the world and there's me sweating. <laughs> Where's the next gust gonna come from? Look, it's trusting the aircraft. It's gonna take a bit of time, you know. He said some people get it in ten minutes, some people take a couple of hours, he said it, it'll come. He says I'm controlling the aircraft, lovely that I brought it in, I got it down, my speeds are good. You know, oh X plane. X plane's thinking about crashing. I think it's loading in the scenery. There we go. So, uh, look, it's going okay. It's going okay. Yeah, honest, it'll just come with time. Yeah. Yeah, look, last time I, I, I tried to look out the windows a little bit, tried to just enjoy it a bit more. There is a lot to take in, though, per lesson and stuff like that. There's always a lot to remember. There's, there's, it, it, there is a lot going on. There's no doubt about it. As long as you don't see me on a program of air crash investigations, we're okay. Do you know when the air? Uh, do you know why airline will never hire Peter Pan? Cancel. Never. What? Totally get. Man, I have no idea what's going on. Please, you mate. It's a great thing to do. Yeah, look. You know, it's a bit of fun. That's, that's the idea. It's a bit of fun. I hope to get myself a nice little plane. I've already been looking. So once I get this out of the way, hopefully uh, I'll pick myself up something nice. Okay, where are we currently? Not near the top of the scent yet. Uh, we can now bring this... Oh, hang on. I don't even know. Where's my charts? Uh, we need to be down at 4,000 feet to catch the ILS. 4,000 feet. Okay. So let's bring this down to 4,000. So it's ready to go. 
and we're going to do level change for this one. So I'm going to bring down the speed and then we're going to level change. When I was over controlling, he used to cut the throttle. <laughs> yeah, he did reduce the throttle a little bit, actually, I must admit. Look, it was okay. It wasn't too bad. It, look, when we, we went to fly over a lake, and there are some big hills slash kind of mountains, they would say here, uh, and the wind rolls off them, and it was already a windy, windy day as it was. It probably wasn't his best idea because it, I was getting a lot of updraft. It, it was affecting... I mean, I'm only at 2,000 feet, you know, at the time. But once we moved away from it, it, it was okay. It, but there was it was a hairy moment. There was a few times my heart was in my mouth and I thought, Shh, we're going to die. No doubt about it. <laughs> it's, not an easy, it's not an easy feeling. It's not an easy feeling. But hopefully it'll get better. It just needs hours, hours, and hours, and hours, and hours. Simply 3035 descend to cross Tunso at flight level 170 then descend via the Tuns 1 echo arrival with the Tunso transition to 4000 feet altimeter 3012 at Edinburgh. We'll cross Tunso at flight level 170 then descend via the Tuns 1 echo arrival with the Tunso transition to 4000 feet altimeter 3012 simply 3035. Okay, I'm going to whack on the speed brake here. I just want to get the speed down under 250 before we descend. Okay, nice. Flight level change. Uh, we will come off our standard pressures. There we go. Uh, what were we? 10. Uh, 10.20 here. 10.20. Uh, what we're going to do, we are going to set the uh, medium motor brakes. No, I can't. We can't do it yet. <laughs> okay, so not much we can do now. We're going to come down. Uh, so this is going to drop like a stone. Jesus Christ. We need to be higher. Oh, we've got to go to Reno, no? Um, I, I've actually, I was learning in um, a microlight at the moment. But it would be mixed between that and a 172. So it would be a mix of both. But, um... So I'm doing it, it's in a C42, Icarus. Simply 3035 turn right heading 049 or vectors to the ILS approach for runway 06 at Edinburgh contact approach on 121.2 good afternoon. Heading 049 or vectors to the ILS approach for runway 06 approach on 121.2 simply 3035. Heading 049 -er. Approach simply 3035 descending to 4000 feet. Simply 3035, good afternoon. Radar contact. Simply 3035, turn left heading 049er. Heading 049er, simply 3035. 152, aerobat. 
Yeah, so like obviously being in a micro light, it, it's very light in the wind. It's a little bit, bit more scary than the 172. Oh, nice. Yeah, well, that's what I'm looking at getting to start with is a little micro light. I've been looking at the Sky Rangers, uh, obviously the Icarus. The Icarus seems to be a little bit more expensive than the others. There's a few others there that I've been kind of looking at. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Obviously, that's a little bit further down the line. So I wouldn't trust my own building. I, I'm, I'm not a bad old mechanic, but I, I wouldn't trust myself building a, a plane. Okay, we're going all the way down to 4,000 feet, guys. Uh, so remember our landing speeds. Uh, our approach speed should be at 129, landing at 124. Flaps at 149, uh, 141. Slats 179, out at 188. ILS frequency has been inputted. Uh, what we can do is uh, throw this onto ILS. And then I think we press land if I remember rightly. God, I can't even remember. <coughs> Hopefully we press land. I think the kit was about 14 grand. Yeah, so you can buy them. Um, uh, Bugs 320, I'm flying with the uh, Thrustmaster um, joystick. I use the throttle quadrant most of the time, but the quadrant <coughs> doesn't really matter for this. It doesn't. It doesn't have the steps. It's a bit different. Um, yeah, look, I, I, I was looking. You can get a pretty decent kind of free axis, free axis micro light for anything between fifteen and twenty thousand. That's fairly good condition with history and all the rest of it. Um, yeah, look, we'll just we'll see how things all kind of pan out. Okay, everything is looking good. We're just about to drop under 10,000 feet. Uh, we are on vectors for final. Which is good for me. Don't mind a bit of vectoring. Uh, we're going to be down way early though, but... Okay. Anti-ice can come off. Everything is looking okay on that. Uh, landing lights will now go back on. All is good. So yeah, this aircraft does drop a bit too quick uh, because of the weight and size. So it is what it is. We're going to be down nice and early at least. Hopefully I don't destroy my landing right here.
Simply 3035 turn right heading 054. Heading 054 simply 3035. Simply 3035 turn left heading 049er. Heading 049er simply 3035. No, the Orbix for EGPH I, I don't have. It's one of the only Orbixes I don't have. But I'm using the uh, True Earth at the moment. It's looking beautiful. No sound. Yep, sorry. The buzz, you're going to see me now go from second in the chart to the end of the chart. I'm fairly certain of that. Okay. We are going to be turning on to finals now very soon, so I'm going to bring ourselves down a bit here. And I am going to initiate the first notch of flaps and slats. There we go. Here we come. Simply 3035 turn right heading 054. Heading 054 simply 3035. Okay, the ILS has come alive, which is, I suppose, good.
Uh, once we turn on to final, uh, we'll change over. You can uh, see the joystick. We can watch me battle landing this uh, beluga. It wasn't just one flight with a good landing rate that got you on the leaderboard. Uh, no, that was two good flights. Uh, I landed the Phenom with a minus like 70. Now the Phenom's not a jet, so I can land it under minus 100, uh, I may add. The other one was the A319, the 309 we flew. I haven't flown too much uh, so far this month. There'll be much more flying to come, so we'll see. Uh, it'll go out the window now. This, this, I, I don't think I've ever landed this lighter than 300. If, it's a bit weird when you come into landing. It's a bit weird. I could float it. Oh, sh sugar. I don't know what button, uh, what key is reverse thrust. I have no idea. Oh, I've got it mapped to the joystick somewhere. Oh, crap. Simply 3035 turn left heading 333. Heading 333 simply 3035. Brakes are going to get hot. Ah, the brakes are fine. Simply 3035 turn right heading 338. Heading 338, simply 3035. Okay, lights are set. Water brakes are set. Gear is down. Should be turning on to final now. Simply 3035 cleared for ILS to runway 06 fly heading 030 to intercept final. Cleared for ILS approach to runway 06 fly heading 030 simply 3035. Okay, I think 3 1 was the uh, approach was 1 2 9. And then finals 1 2 4. Click on the land button. Apparently, it will pick up the uh, ILS.
Okay, we'll swap over. The sand has not caught the uh, localizer yet. <laughs> Minus 148, no way. Watch me do a nice good 350 here now. Okay, speed speed brake is armed. I can't remember what reverse thrust is. altimeter 3015 at Edinburgh contact tower on 118.7. Have a good afternoon. Altimeter 3015 tower on 118.7 simply 3035. Okay, there's the runway. Tower simply 3035 inbound for ILS approach runway 06. Simply 3035, good afternoon. Radar contact. Continue ILS to runway 06 call when established on final. Continue ILS to runway 06 will call when established on final simply 3035. Nine nine nine, uh, Maddox. Hello, mate. Welcome. <clears throat> For me, it's just finding a nice landing position. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what the friggin' uh, reverse thrust is. I might, it might be on my keyboard still. Uh, I completely forgot what I've uh, key binded. Okay, I'm still waiting to. Uh, Lock onto the localizer, got a little bit of time at minus <laughs> seven six. God. Yeah, people have no uh, no trust in my flying, eh? I think minus 300 was the lowest I got. I think it was like 310 was the lowest I got in this. Not used to the, the blue gear, you're quite high. I'm not used to it. It's okay. I, I'm, it's going to be one of these keys. I, it could, I might try F2. I think F2 might do reverse thrust. Okay, we are now established. Uh, simply 3035 established on final for ILS runway 06. Simply 3035 established on final for ILS runway 06. Okay. Simply 3035 winds are 042 of 6 knots cleared to land runway 06. Cleared to land runway 06 simply 3035. I'm pretty sure it's assigned to one of these keys here. I'm not sure what, but I can't test it. We'll test it when we hit the runway. Oh, we did use all that fuel.
Okay, we're a thousand feet out. We're in control. It's one of these keys, I'm sure we'll work it out. Simply 3035 exit runway when able. Ah, uh, my reverse thrusters didn't work. No. No, it's trying to throttle up. Okay, I had no idea what my key was. <laughs> well, I got them set in now. What have I done? Okay, apart from not knowing my key for refrosters. Uh, 2229, not, not too bad. Okay, I'll swap back over. Um, yeah, so remind me. I need to remember what is the key bind for the Beluga. Key bind. Reverser. Beluga. Because uh, I have it set to a key there and I have no idea what I've done. Anyways. We should be uh, good to taxi anyways. Now that we have forward thrust again. Okay, strobe light can go off. Taxi light can go on. We can retract these bad boys. Runway turning lights on. Okay, all lights are set. Hey, not bad considering. It all nearly went completely wrong. <laughs> ah, look. Uh, I need. 
Uh, Gabriel, I don't think it's going to work because I've changed all my keybinds and I can't remember what they are for the keyboard because I didn't like the ones that they give you. Okay, flaps away. Now, where the hell am I going to put this? Cargo bay down there by the looks of it. Damn, too late. I guess I can watch it back. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a bad flight, apart from I forgot what my keybind was for reverse thrust. Yeah, you're going to see the landing again now in a second anyways. Um, yeah, that was a nice flight. I like the Bluger. the best place for me to put this to get the loader out it could be over there it could be here too okay just one second guys I not really looked about where it would be best to put this um, I mean it'd be okay if we put it here the loader can kind of squeeze in Okay, parking brake on, engine one off, engine two off, uh, we are going to go into the ops menu, ground ops, uh, ground services, we're going to get our chocks on and not external power, we want the loader. Now we're just going to pretend that the loader just was here. <laughs> This is the freeway scenery from the org site. Yeah, it can be a little bit jumpy. Because it kind of like, not enough doesn't make it move, then just a little bit too much makes it go a bit, bit, bit quicker than you want it to go, you know? Okay, 229, that's not bad considering uh, for a landing rate. I'm just going to end my flight on ACARS. Uh, so that is done, so we can watch the landing. We have to wait till all this loading process is done. Okay, let's just see where that leaves me on the website. No, you did a minus 704. What? You're out of practice, mate. Uh, minus 161. I'm still doing okay for the month. My best month yet. Are you unloading all the people you nicked in the police simulator? <laughs> yeah, police simulator will be back on Wednesday, guys, by the way. Yes, I'll do bloody the shift in a minute. It was one of my keybinds on the controller because it worked, so I, I just pressed them all. No, it's not shifting that. It's one of these keys. I just don't know which one I put it to. That's the trim. Okay, that that's parking brake. Okay, that's that.
Uh, see you there, Arjun. I'm going to see the next time can I uh, get my quadrant to work with it. I didn't have enough time today to see if I can get the quadrant to work. It would be so much easier if it does. God, this is a slow process. So yeah, this is the uh, freeware scenery for Edinburgh. If anyone's interested, it looks pretty nice for the freeware one. And I am using Orbix uh, North. You can see Scotland looks fairly tasty, doesn't it? What yoke do you use? I got the VKB Gladiator. Um, I've been looking at the Honeycomb Alpha. So I use the uh, Thrustmaster Quadrant with the... Obviously I didn't use it on this flight. <laughs> but I use the uh, Thrustmaster Quadrant for the Airbus uh, with the uh, TCA stick. goes with it. That's what I'm using. But I didn't use the quadrant because I didn't have I didn't know if I could have time to set it up for this. Okay, let's uh, just unload. It'll come zooming out of here now. Harvey, hello, mate. You can get the quadrant and the stick together for about a hundred and thirty nine pounds, I think it is now, isn't it? I can't do the replay until the nose goes down, otherwise this comes up on the replay with you. So we will get a replay of the landing. Uh, reverse thrust, I have no idea what key it is. I very like I said should have key bind it. My fault. How do you get the scenery around the airport? That scenery around the airport is Orbix, True Earth, North UK, Payware. Uh, you're going to see the landing in a minute. I think it was 229, wasn't it, guys? It wasn't bad. Um, but I, I didn't know what button my reverse thruster was, so uh, it got a bit scary down the runway. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be the fuselage of an Airbus, but... And obviously for all my aircraft, uh, I'm using um, uh, Traffic Global, that's the one. Yeah, Orbix UK North is uh, really nice. The whole of the Orbix for the UK, I have all of it, it looks really, really good. Real smart. I didn't float that much. Okay. Okay, I think we're still unloading. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I, I have, like, Microsoft have its own SSD, this has its own SSD, that's kind of how I do it all. But yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but it's worth it, definitely worth it.
I must admit, I don't think I've ever had any issues with Orbix. Orbix is always very good. Depending on your system, you know, it can be a little bit intensive maybe, I don't know. We're nearly ready for the replay. That was a nice flight from Shannon Island uh, to Edinburgh. Come join us at simplyclaimva.com if you haven't done so already. Come join the Discord. Um, always looking for new pilots. So we've got about 100 pilots in the VA now, which is really, really good. Come on, finish closing, would you? Uh, Orbix, to install Orbix, you just download it. That's it. You don't do anything to Orbix. Are you on about Ortho 4X? Like, if you're doing about the Orthos, um, they're different. Yeah, you have to install them in a certain way. Um, I'm not using that. I'm using Orbix. And as always, I use X Organizer. Okay, let's just press reset so that's gone. We can now watch our replay. Yeah, I'm not using Orthos. I'm not. Uh, this is Orbix. Orbix, you just download. Orthos are free, but yeah, you have to install them in a in a certain way. Oh, look at the frames. Frames are dying here. And then there was a lot of messing around because I, I couldn't get it to work. There we have it guys, not a bad landing, not a bad flight, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, there will be no stream tomorrow, um, a lot of things that we're going to go on for the next couple of weeks, so I'll just explain very quickly. I probably won't be streaming now on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, uh, mainly because I've got a lot of physio appointments, I've got a lot of doctor's appointments, I've got a lot of stuff going on at the moment. Um, and it's quite painful what's going on at the minute, so I, you know, I'm, I'm struggling to do it on them days. So. I uh, won't be streaming Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays, so I'll be here every other day of the week. Uh, so I won't be here tomorrow. We'll be back Wednesday with the police simulator, uh, with episode number two. Hopefully, uh, you're getting good at this flying. <laughs> you cheeky. <laughs> um, hopefully, uh, we'll get on with the uh, the police simulator on Wednesday, Wednesday, quarter past eight. Uh, then Friday, we'll be here with a CCS event. Uh, we're doing West Country 3, I believe. I can't remember now. I think that's what we're doing. Um, so, yeah. And then Sunday... Sunday's probably be up flying again by Sunday. So yeah, this is going to be going on for two or three weeks. Just like I said, there's a lot going on. So I just, uh, instead of me rushing around, trying to get back in time, sorting things out, it's just easier that I just do what I need to do. 
um etc 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 um flying vlog like i said hopefully on wednesday i'll get the first one the first last the last video I, all my camera angles weren't the way i wanted them so i just scrapped it you're not missing out too much but yeah so i will be up in the air in real life on wednesday so i'll report back to you on wednesday how that went if i'm still alive um yeah good thank you all mods members people in the chat harvey bart uh gable blue ridge gaming uh antheron i'd think about that then uh richard going bigster going bigster are you streaming now what day is it monday is it tuesday for you you're not streaming tonight are you uh the buzz thank you very much mate oh, richard richard the nut the nut <laughs> the nut is here uh becca flyer thank you very very much as well maddox who just popped in uh casey uh thank you for doing so many flights in the va as well casey becca flyer uh f1 racer dan of course james bay uh anyone else that might be there thank you very much guys and hopefully i will see you on wednesday real life comes first we'll still be here waiting yeah so that we'll be back wednesday uh with police simulator and hopefully i see you all for that uh and left myself thanks fortune i'll see you next time bye for now